Woo! I'm ready for this one. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't already know, my name is Austin Alexander. I'm here with... Hey, guys. My name is Ari Nouveau. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to talk into the microphone. Oh, shit. <laughs> do I look at the camera? Oh, no, that one. No, on. you're looking at this one. <laughs> so that's, that's your camera out right there. Okay, three, two, one. I'm ready for this one. You ready? Hell yeah, always ready. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Austin Alexander, in case you didn't already know that. Today, I'm sitting down with... Ari Nouveau. And we are going to do an in-depth review of combat boots. Now, on my side, I have three types of boots, not necessarily combat boots, but they are just a wide variety of different types of boots. So she has combat boots because they've been through what, what, a couple deployments, three deployments, something uh, like that? Yes. One, two, and about to go on third deployment. Cool. So I have one pair of boots that have been through a uh, deployment on a ship and then two that have been uh, overseas in Bahrain, a very hot area. So we're just going to rate these boots on a scale from one to 10 for durability, comfort, and weight. Ariana, do you want to uh, do your first pair of boots? Let's see. Well, number one, we have the, what are those? Baits? Still to? Baits, uh, USMC Baits, cold weather. So how do you know they're cold weather? Uh, usually cold weathers do not have holes. Um, hot weather boots have two holes in here. All right. So this one's, uh, they're still toe, right? And the soles are a lot thicker. Uh, this one's, I actually wore this one's for my second deployment. Uh, I needed them because of my job. This one's is the security that they have, especially with the steel toe in case you drop anything, uh, anything falls in your foot, an accident happens. So it protects your toes, right? I had them since boot camp and boot camp was like 2012. So for almost eight years. So their durability, I will say 10 out of 10. Uh, comfort. I will say probably like a five or a six. The weight, I will say maybe a four, five. I think uh, I will say a five. Yes, for the weight, five. All right. So for my first pair of boots, these are flight deck boots, and the reason they're flight deck boots is to start off with the bottoms of them are not deep at all, so they have a little bit of grip, but they don't go as deep as let's say a normal boot because this protect, protects against FOD, foreign objects that might get caught up in there and get sucked up into jet engines. So these are for the top of the flight deck. A lot of aviation rates in the Navy wear these, but they gave these to me because I would sometimes have to rove around on the flight deck. As far as durability, I wore these for about a year straight and they still look pretty immaculate. The only parts that are damaged really are the front of the steel toe right here because when you're walking over the knee knockers they call them knee knockers the hatches you will sometimes stub your toe and specifically that's a huge reason why they give only steel toe boots for ship going rates or, or sailors that are deployed because if you stub your toe on that piece of metal you're probably going to break it in half if you don't have steel toe boots um so for durability i give these 10 out of 10 for comfort, I would give these, they're pretty comfortable too, except when you first get them. But for comfort, I would give them overall six and a half. And for weight, these are very heavy. So I have to say for weight, maybe a two or three. If you're wearing these for long, long periods of time, they're gonna get really heavy and it's gonna feel really good when you take them off. So those are the Bates Flight Deck boots, still toe. All right, y'all, before we move along, I wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, The Ridge Wallet. They're light, sleek, and it doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your pocket, and it seriously changed my whole pocket situation. It holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash in the clip, and I've been carrying mine for about a year and a half without any issues with it. But don't take my word for it. Listen to their over 30,000 plus five-star reviews. Each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty, and they let you test drive it for 45 days to make sure you'll absolutely love it. There are over 30 different flavors and styles, including OD Green and Desert Tan. I had the black aluminum, but recently upgraded to the OD green to match my watch. So if you want to check them out, go to ridge.com slash Alexander. And when you're ready to check out, you can either use the military or first responder discount for 15% off or use code Alexander for 10% off. So go check them out. Really nice wallets and will be probably a good gift for Father's Day. Now back to the video. Moving on. Second pair. All right. Second pair. Actually, this one's right here. I wore them for my first deployment. Not this one. These are brand new. Uh, 
the reason why I just didn't want to wear them, kind of, cause I the ones from my first deployment, I had to throw them away because they got really, really messed up. Uh, this ones for durability, I'll definitely say a five, maybe like a, f you know what, a four, a four for durability. Uh, for comfort, they are very, very padded uh, in the inside. For comfort, I will say like a, a seven. I'll say like a seven or eight eight and as far as uh weight these are heavy uh these are almost as heavy as the steel toes so that's one thing i did not like because even though these are not steel toes uh these are hot weather they have the two little holes these are not steel toes they still have this um right here which is very very like hard so you, you hear that but it's not steel toe at all but for uh weight like a two because it's just not steel toe um i wore this ones when i was in afghanistan uh they were very nice because of the uh they have the holes in there for hot weather but the leather and all this gets really hot so my feet sometimes felt like they were on fire so if i had these it would have been better if i had these right here i would have been way better um but this ones yeah this ones are not as good as the bait slides okay and those are called the these are called uh danner's the, rat boots yeah danner usmc rat hot weather boots yes hot okay. weather boots and they're about 216 dollars pretty sure you can look them up online though okay so for my second pair these are the belleville sabers and to start off durability so i've i've had these for about a year uh, one year of probably about 30 or 40, maybe even 50 hours a week of wear. And as you can see, they're, the um, top part is really breaking down as well as the boot strings. Are, they don't hold up the greatest. They're coming on uh, sewed a little bit. And the thing that happened when I very first got them is the loophole came completely oh. out of the boot. <laughs> so these were these had a bad impression upon you know the first two or three weeks as far as comfort these are definitely they're really really comfortable now they do run a little bit bigger than normal msrp on these is about 180 to 200 dollars if you can find them in the navy exchanges or the army or base exchanges they're about 200 dollars. as far as weight they are i call these watch standing boots because you can wear them for long periods of time without getting too um you know without your feet hurting too too much but as far as durability, these are lacking. As far as everything else, they're pretty good. So these are the Belleville Sabres. Next, this ones right here, they're by far my favorite boots, right? This came out in uh, 2000, I would say 2017. Uh, that's when I first bought them. Uh, I actually have two pairs because the durability, I would say durability is like a two. Their durability is horrible. The price, oh my God, I paid like almost, I think it was 340 something dollars for a pair of boots. So I have two pairs of boots, so it's like almost $600. And the Marine Corps does not issue these out. So you have to pay for them. This one's Comfort, 10 out of 10. The Comfort is amazing. Also, uh, I do have my own soles in here. Let me pull them out. Oh God, look at these things. Oh, that's cheating right there. <laughs> Oh my God, I got dog hair. Are those here. custom soles? Yes. Let me see this. Oh God, dude. <laughs> you, you might can sell these to the audience, actually. Oh, yeah. How much? Y'all want to buy some soles, man? Like, you know. Here. What's the purpose of this right here on the side? Oh, so I have flat. That's what I, the next thing I was going to talk about. I have flat feet, and uh, my feet start hurting for long periods of time. I bought these ones when I was in the drill field, and this came in clutch because you could run on these for days. Also, these are very great for any fitness test that you have to do for the. Uh, for military wise uh if you're struggling with your feet or your feet hurt i recommend go to the doctor pediatrician and they'll hook you up with some insoles uh honestly they are amazing at first they're gonna hurt your feet but after that it's gonna help you wait and they're pretty light these ones compare if you wear this ones for let's say two months or even two weeks and you switch to these you're gonna feel like you are got like 10 pound weights on your ankles like it's crazy um this i recommend 10 out of 10 but if you work in areas where you're required to wear 
uh, steel toe boots where your steel toes um, they are your protected equipment PP for your toes what was it protective PPE protective personal protective equipment yeah that's hey one. you yeah, didn't know I, that one I, you know I don't know I couldn't remember the other P ones. And those are the baits oh no these are actually the banners reckoning banners Danner reckonings okay hot weather all right, so for my last pair of boots, I have the Danners as well. I just got these about two weeks ago, so I can't make a really in-depth review. So I'm just going to do basically the first two-week impression. First up is the durability. They seem pretty durable. Of course, I don't I don't really know because I haven't uh, worn them, and the reviews are, are good. The review said they held up for a long time. They were 180 bucks. I believe I got them from, yeah, I got them from Amazon. Um, these are not necessarily uniform boots, but they fall into uniform regulation. So I can wear them in the Navy uniform type three. I usually am not on my feet for long periods of time. I'm in a boat, um, but the comfort is okay in these. I would say probably about a six out of a 10 because they have a really, really thin bottom. So your foot sits down in the boot a lot lower than the sole appears right here. Um, so you're basically on a really flat and hard surface when you're wearing these. I wear a little bit thicker socks, so they're a little more warm as well. They're really, really thin. This is a really lightweight material and it's breathable. So if one gust of cold wind comes in, your foot's gonna be cold for the next hour. Lord. So yeah, the reason I got these is because they were a lot more lightweight. They are not still toe. Um, and I definitely rate the weight on these high because they're really, really light. They're, you know, they're lightweight boots. They're in the lightweight category. So as far as uh, comfort, we got six out of a 10. Durability is probably um, unrated at this point. And then weight, we have probably eight or nine out of a 10, which is good. So that's pretty much it. That's it for all the boots. You, you want to add anything? Mm, I will say that... Um if we have anybody that makes boots watching this, definitely I will combine the lightweight and the comfort of this with the durability of the baits and add steel toes on here because you will save so many lives. I'm so serious. Um, this ones, I love the way they look, but they are horrible with dur durability. So I will say these are my top ones. But if I have to, uh, like for working boots and... I will have to use these. All right, guys. We, uh, I hope you enjoyed this program. We're kind of still, you know, stuck in quarantine, so it's it's hard to get out and about and do uh, a bunch of fun stuff. So we're covering these topics. Uh, you know, we reacted to uh, Navy boot camp earlier, and hopefully we'll be able to react to Marine Borg boot camp with Sarah in the future. But Ari, or Ari, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for, uh, what? <laughs> Why are you looking wow. at me like that? Wow. Austin. No, your name is Ariana Austin. or Austin. Ari. Uh, Ariano, Ari. Ariano. Ari. That's Italian. Austin. Okay, sorry. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hit the thumbs up if you want, and I will link her information. She loves really weird comments, and I'm pretty sure she would sell these I boots. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure she would sell these boots for the right price, guys, the, the used ones especially. Socks uh, too. Okay, we need to go before we uh, say a bunch of more dumb stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. Austin Alexander, sign it out.